In this video, I want to explain what we mean by the codomain. Now, it doesn't come about very often, so I'm only going to go over this very quickly and through an example. Let's consider the function y is equal to e to the x. Let's say I restrict the domain to be between log 2 and 10. So subsequently, we'd be able to find the range. If I do a quick sketch of this curve, y is equal to e to the x, it would look something like this. So if I'm looking at between log 2 um, all the way up to 10 on the x-axis, then log of 2, e to the log 2 would just be 2, so that'd be 2 on the y-axis, and if I put in x is 10, I get e to the 10. And so the range is from 2 up to e to the 10, okay, which is a large number. I'm not going to leave it as e to the 10. Now the codomain, what that's looking for is if there were no restriction on the domain, what would the range be? Okay, so the codomain is looking at the range if you're looking at the greatest possible domain. So the greatest possible domain for y is equal to e to the x is any real number. Okay, so x can take on any real number. And subsequently the range, if x can take on any real number, is that the curve is y for the curve is y is greater than zero because it is always above the x-axis. So the codomain would be y is greater than zero. So that is how we think of the codomain. So ignore any particular restriction of the domain that's already been given and look at it from the point of view of any value of x can go into the function, except for any kind of particular restrictions on that curve, okay? So the greatest possible domain that is available, what is the range?